Item number SCP-7472, Security Level 2, Containment Class, Pending. Special Containment Procedures, Pending. Description, SCP-7472 is the disappearance of an estimated 40,000 to 280,000 scrolls in and around Poznan, Poland. Investigation is ongoing. You are currently viewing an outdated version of this document. Click here to see the current iteration. Item number SCP-7472, Security Level 5, Containment Class Safe, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. Special Containment Procedures SCP-7472 has been acquired and isolated from the public by the Foundation under Standard Cover Protocol SQ-028B, Gas Leak. The doors leading into the building itself has been padlocked. A single guard is to be stationed nearby at all times to ensure no individuals enter SCP-7472. By order of the Overseer Council, entry into the structure is forbidden. Description SCP-7472 is an 8-floor block of flats located in Poznan, Poland. Access into the building, including air vents, water pipes, and other such structures has been entirely blocked off, save for a single narrow corridor that connects SCP-7472's interior with the outside world. Above the door leading into the building through the aforementioned corridor hangs a small metal placard that reads SCP Foundation Department of Hibernation. No such department has ever been found to exist. The interior of SCP-7472 consists of eight ascending levels, structurally identical to neighboring non-anomalous apartment buildings. SCP-7472 differs from these buildings in its interior. All structural elements which would normally be present in a building of this type, doors, stairs, functioning windows, etc., have been removed. Most floors are bare concrete with sheet metal covering the windows. In place of typical rooms, furnishings, and appliances, SCP-7472 contains the following. Eight large and empty containers on every floor. Four are slightly damp. Four are dry. All containers are connected via pipes to a structure located Deeper within SCP-7472, its location and purpose are indeterminate. Human bones, lightly gnawed. An advanced air filtration system spanning all floors. One elevator. Although the elevator has not been modified, the walls of the elevator shaft have been removed. The lift has remained perpetually active for as long as the Foundation has been aware of it. Attempts to stop the elevator to further research SCP-7472's interior have been unsuccessful. Approximately 2 million corpses belonging to Red Scrolls. Corpses are spread randomly across all floors. The source of these corpses and the reason none of them have decayed remained unknown. Addendum 7472-1 Following several months of testing, the Foundation has stopped SCP-7472's elevator. Entry into the lift revealed an incomplete human skeleton, a pen, a notebook, and an unidentified electronic device. The first page of the notebook was transcribed as well as possible. Can I kill them? Can I load them all in whole? Excavate whole? Fill with... Food, water, does that count? Scroll maxing. Possible Amigrana language connection. Average volume equals 0.002 cube meters. 0.003 cube meters, just to be safe. Hollow block is like. Socket name. 20 ish by 30 ish by 20 ish. 12,000 meters cubed. Negative 20% for. Walls and elevator. Minus 25% for everything mentioned before. 7200. 2,400,000 squirrels. 120 million dollars. Right so. 
$1,000 per citizen, plus hotel costs equals $119,846,000, minus appliances, equals ready number indiscernible, possible Orokian psychic battle ruins, removed for safety purposes, round up to something above $19 million. No logical reason not to do this. No money was found within SCP-7472. Further investigation revealed a 125 cubic centimeter square hole at the bottom of the elevator shaft, which connects to a further tunnel. With the exception of the padlocked door leading into SCP-7472, this tunnel is the building's only entrance or exit. Addendum 7472-2 Foundation technicians have successfully opened the electronic device. It contained most of the commercially available Raspberry Pi Zero W starter kit, one leaf, four pine needles, and several segments of copper wiring. While Foundation technicians are unable to activate the device before or after opening it, they were able to access the device's micro SD. It contains several files of non-functioning code and a single rich text file encoding using a hitherto unknown method. Attempts to read this file are ongoing. 7472 Hibernation Report Final Dotnut Scamper class cannot scamper. Collect class collected at site of discovery. Proliferate class not proliferating. Details. A core tenet of Squeakonomics is scarcity. As much as we would love to gather food forever, we are limited by the oncoming winter and the risk of predation. Since we can never satisfy our infinite desires, we instead make trade-offs between various aspects of our lives. We limit our time on the ground to stay safe from foxes. We only collect as much as we need for the winter before doing other things. This was the law of nature, at least before SCP-7472 was discovered. SCP-7472 is a Homo sapiens characteristics, indirect food provider, not predator, not resource competitor, dog symbiote, shelter in Preston, Poland, containing a single Homo sapien. SCP-7472-1 SCP-7472-1 is highly trusting, suggestible, and collection-oriented. Their combined presence is strategically beneficial for the Foundation. We have been influencing SCP-7472-1 for several seasons. The Foundation front organization, Scroll Containment Pros, disguised to SCP-7472-1 as fellow Homo sapiens, has proposed an exchange to SCP-7472-1, whose outcomes would be advantageous for both parties involved. Details restricted to members of Operational Group Alpha-1, human people. However, should we at any point fail to abide by the terms outlined in the proposed document, the exchange would be cancelled. SCP-7472-1 has accepted the offer. Covert psychological influence of SCP-7472-1 accomplished by having several of us stand very close together outside of SCP-7472 has resulted in it retrofitting its expansive shelter to contain as many living scrolls as possible. If successful, this will result in a Mobley class end of predation scenario and an Oak class endless nut scenario for anyone involved. Surveys of SCP-7472 have noted its exogenous temperature control, suggesting a potential maple-class warm winter scenario. If SCP-7472 is sufficiently expanded, the proliferation of habitats without scarcity would ideally result in a sycamore-class grow the peace scenario. The transfer of staff into SCP-7472 beginning with Foundation High Command is ongoing.